Hello everybody, welcome to the first episode of Peter's Moment of Peace. Yes, that's right. I have started a podcast. I know, I know I'm like four years late, but you know, it's just something I wanted to do because, well, as the name implies, it's my moment of peace where I can talk to uh, you guys and just kind of let it all out, you know? I did compliment... Com- contemplate naming it let it all out but i'm i'm pretty sure there's multiple other people who have named it this hell there might be people who have already named it moment of peace but i figured it worked well because my name starts with a p and peace and also because well you've seen my logo it's the peace sign anyway welcome everybody i uh, hope you're gonna enjoy this and to any of my fans please be sure to like and subscribe and hopefully tune into the next episode so let's get this introduction out of the way um, I wanted to make this podcast because I sort of had a like a, a moment of clarity, I guess, you know, basically, I want to make whatever content that I want to make and I'll explain why right now. So if you've noticed for the last two weeks or so, I've just been kind of on a slow decline and everything. And some of that is mentally because of the fact that a lot of the big time YouTubers are just leaving like, um, well, there's there's way too much to name off, but I guess one that I'd I'd go off with is a uh, Meat Cannon. He's kind of taking a break from the animations that he makes, and I I always enjoyed his animation. And any of his content that he's going to make, I'm still gonna watch it. I like the guy. He's he's a he's a pretty top notch YouTuber. But he was talking about the differences and everything. I mean, YouTube itself is it's these days where I wish that there was a a serious competitor to YouTube like. And when I say a true competitor, I mean in every way, shape, or form, you know, long-form content. TikTok is great because it's short and sweet. Um, And honestly, Instagram, Facebook, they just kind of copy the same thing with the whole shorts and everything. There's not anybody really going for the whole long-form content. I mean, hell, even YouTube is just going for the short format, which I can't disagree. After COVID, my, my attention span is just broken. It's dead. If... I can watch 50 one-minute videos, but you give me one 20-minute video, and I'm like, nah, nah, nah. But I'm trying. I'm trying to get back into watching my own thing because I don't want myself to not want to watch, like, movies or read books or anything because, <laughs> I mean, come on. What kind of life is that? Anyway, so let's get into what happened with the last two weeks. So I had a throat infection. That was fun, you know? I don't think I've ever taken breathing for granted, but if I have, I sure am not going to do it again. I mean, have you ever have you ever felt the feeling of not being able to breathe no matter what you're doing and just going <sighs> and even that's not doing anything? I felt like a dog who was trying to air themselves out because dogs don't have sweat glands and yet it, all, it was only like 50% working. I, I honestly felt like I was going to die. Do you know what it was like to sleep for only 20 minutes and then wake up because you couldn't breathe, go back to sleep and do it like 10 times for five days? Holy shit, am I happy that I am a, a quick healer and that the infection did not get any worse because I don't have health insurance and I didn't want to borrow any money about that. So I kind of just, and I don't recommend this for anybody, I just... Whatever happened, happened. I told myself that I was going to try to take care of it myself. And then if it got extremely worse, then I was going to go to the hospital. And I just deal with the debt. Because I think they would have given me antibiotics. I'm pretty sure that's what helps in um, an infection. But I told myself that I would just do what I can. It doesn't help that any form of thing that helps an infection is hidden behind a prescription. I'm not really sure why. But I kind of just use Dayquil and Nyquil because it has like a little section for uh, uh, throat pains or throat infections, something like that, a very minor form of it. And I just kind of relied on my immune system. This, my system has helped me out through so many hard times. I've barely ever had to go to the hospital. I think I've only gone once. Actually, maybe not even once. I just know that I've always been a quick healer. So during that whole thing, And I know exactly what caused my throat infection. I was working out too hard, which made my throat always going. (sighs) And I was talking way too much. I kind of got into playing a lot of games, online games, especially Fortnite with my little cousins. Those kids can, they can, they can play, they can build. And we were having a lot of fun moments. So I was obviously doing a lot of yelling, a lot of talking. 
I was also not doing well at staying hydrated, which on that note, I am never letting that happen again. Always stay hydrated, kids. And I was not very good at taking care of myself, like uh, staying cold, warm in cold temperatures, staying cold in warm temperatures. I just kind of wanted to go do my own thing, which in Arizona is not recommended. You got to you gotta prepare for all that weather. Thankfully, we're finally in March, so it should start to get warm. So I don't have to worry too much about cold because I can handle the warm. It's the cold that's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Was there anything else that could have caused that? Nope. That was pretty much the majority. So that's part of my new taking care of myself better. Stay properly um, layered or unlayered, depending on if it's cold. Drink plenty of water. Cut back on the yelling. That's why I'm only allowing myself to play occasionally with the kiddos, like maybe one or twice a week. And if we are playing Fortnite, I'm going to try to keep the strong emotions down. So... You'll have to forgive me if I sound pretty monotone in this podcast. I mean, well, let's be real. I never really was the most vocal. Like, I guess I kind of got the voice of an NPC. But at least I try to put some emotion to it. That's better than nothing. Although, then some could argue that that could be a pretty good niche. Like, uh, Moist Critical. I don't religiously watch his content, but he's got a kind of similar voice, I would say. And his content's pretty funny. Anyway, so that all happened. It was horrible, and I am just so glad it's gone. Oh, yeah, I couldn't even eat or drink anything cold, so that sucked. Eating just did not have any appeal. And what was a bit of more annoying is that after it had went away, I had uh, allergies, like strong allergies, nasal congestion and all that, so I couldn't even smell my food, so yeah. But honestly being able to breathe, I just said, if as long as that's fixed, then I'll deal with all the other bullshit. Because that's the first time I ever dealt with effect, an infection of any kind, so I was like totally scared and everything. Everything else I could have handled just fine. So I am super thankful for that, and I'm never going to let that happen again. So after that, I told myself that I would do better, which is what I'm doing. Right now I'm sticking to... Um, a natural exercise regime. I've been going too hard on it because I was trying to accomplish all my goals at the same time, and that's just not smart. Right now, my goal is to make it to 150 pounds, um, slimming down. Right now, I'm currently 158.4 pounds, so I'm trying to lose that, the uh, 8.4 pounds, and I'm just going to stick to walking for 30 minutes every day. Thankfully, I have a treadmill, so you know that makes it easier. I don't have to go outside, which I don't really like to do. Um, <clears throat> for exercising, I mean, I can go out, I can go outside <laughs> and stay hydrated all the time. I'm kind of doing a balance between wa regular water and cold water because I do enjoy both. And yeah, I would say that I'm just going to go at it from that point. And of course, with my content, I'm making whatever content I feel like it. I have a little topic, uh, a little list of topics that I want to talk about. So sorry if I... I'm going to try to get the hang of this, you know? On that note, here's what the plan is for the podcast. It's Peter's Moment of Peace, obviously that's the name, and the plan is twice a month, so bi-monthly, every first of the month and 15 of the month. So obviously today is March 1st, and if I'm not too lazy, this will actually be uploaded by today. So that'll be good. Um, so yeah, that was the throat infection. Not fun at all. Take care of yourself, kids. And if you don't have insurance, um, try to find any form of insurance because even shitty insurance is better than none. <laughs> all right. Well, that was a bit dark. So let's move on to a little bit more of a lighter topic that I wanted to talk about. My sister's cat had kittens. It was near the um, beginning of this year, and there were six of them, and we spent a good amount of time trying to find for homes because we didn't want to separate them from the very beginning because they needed to have um, milk from their mother, obviously, and they eventually grew enough. They're so adorable and everything. If I have some pictures, I might post them up, but uh, yeah, and in the end, we decided to keep two cats. It's a black and white one. We named him Big Tuna, and a yellow, an orange one. We called him Lamine Yamal. Lamine Yamal, my cousin named that one. It's based on a soccer player he likes. I think I said the name properly. If uh, I have any soccer fans in the in my subscribers, then um, you feel free to correct me. Anyway, 
And honestly, even though they weren't originally the two that we were planning to have, I'm kind of happy we did because they're a lot cleaner and a lot less annoying. The couch, oh god, it smelled horrible and there was shit everywhere. I just, I deep cleaned that whole thing and thankfully things have been nice and calm, no more. <laughs> but yeah, I, well I don't say think I love cats, I definitely like them a little bit more than dogs because... They're a lot more quieter, and when you're recording, you know, it's a lot more useful. <laughs> but I'm not really getting close to any animals nowadays. These are my sister's cats, not mine. <laughs> but yeah, a nice little um, heartwarming cat story, because I've been getting nothing but Instagram uh, posts about cats and Pusheen, and I love it so much. It's adorable. All right. <clears throat> so... There was also this other topic that I wanted to talk about. I was watching the news and everything on YouTube, and it was like Hassan Piker talking about streaming is harder than a job. I'm just going to say this right now. No, streaming is not harder than a job. Not at all. Because when you're streaming, you can take a break whenever you want. If you're having a bad day or you're sick, you can just say, nope, I'm not going to do it today. Now, I am not denying that streaming doesn't have its difficulties, especially if you're one of the streamers that streams for like eight hours in a row. Yeah. That would be hectic, especially since you'd have to try to um, entertain your audience, especially if you're the if your niche is having like compelling commentary and all that stuff, you know, that that is difficult, but harder than a regular job. No, 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 it really isn't, you know. You have to go to a nine-to-five soul-sucking job where you got to answer to some piece of shit that thinks you owe them everything, that they have the mentality of, of live to work. No, I work to live. If I had the choice, I would have left a long time ago. That's why I'm still trying to build up my channel so I don't have to do that. My situation has made it work, but there's always going to be hard moments, and I'm trying to get through that. So... Uh, a little bit of self-plugging here. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe. It's free. One of the few things in this godforsaken economy that is free. Be sure to like the video. It all all you got to do is press a button and it's really appreciated. I love you. I love each and every one of my fans and any comments you guys comment, I always try to reply to. I really do. Because you know, I want to build a community. I think I remember um in February I had a super chat he posted, he um, commented on one of my comic dubs. He gave me $2, and I was like, that, that was just really, really appreciated. That was really nice of you. <laughs> I don't care how much money it was. He literally took the time out of his day, or she, took the time out of their day to um, send me $2 and tell me how much they loved my content. That, that really was heartwarming. <laughs> um, but yeah. No, streaming is not harder than a regular job. You got to deal with so much bullshit when it comes to those regular jobs. I've worked at a fast food place for five years. I worked at a KFC for five years. I worked at a Burger King for about four months. And I worked at a, uh, um, a furniture moving place for about uh, one summer one time. All of those jobs, I didn't quit um, like bad or anything like, fuck you, I'm out of here. I left of my own accord and because of uh, things that I was taking care of. And also because I wanted to try to make YouTube my full-time job. My goal is to work. My goal is to build my YouTube enough where I could live off of it. I don't need to be rich. I just need enough to be able to pay my bills and, you know, have a little extra for um, uh, the occasional bit of luxury. Obviously, my main focus is food, bills, um, clothes, all that stuff. But everybody likes to have a little luxury. I'll tell you though, ever since I started um, with uh, Steam games, finding sales is like so easy and I get to try out different games. It's a lot. This is why I would qualify myself as a PC gamer, but I still enjoy the con the uh, consoles and everything. PC, consoles, why fight? Just enjoy what you want to enjoy. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the next topic at hand. Uh, let's see. Well, this was kind of the main topic, and I was kind of saving it for the end, but screw it. Let's do it. The future of my channel. So this, uh, I don't want to just keep repeating what I've been repeating in the past. I've been on YouTube, this channel, for about, I think it was 2022, near the end. So 2023. I don't, I don't know why I said it like that. Yeah, I think it was 2023. 
maybe February when I started to take this channel a lot more seriously. I used to have another channel back in 2014, but I was just kind of going around and around and trying to figure out, trying to find myself, you know? And I think I kind of have, because look at it. I started out as a channel that was only doing Let's Plays of games, and Grand Theft Auto V was the one that kind of made me want to do it, and I was enjoying it. But now my main content is fun facts and everything. I have always loved listening, watching, reading up about trivia. Obviously, I always try to make sure that it's um, real because I don't just want to try to spread misinformation. If I ever do, I'm sorry. I always I try to correct myself and stay humble. But I love sharing fun facts. It's, it's enjoyable to me. So as for my content, the fun facts, they will stay. Of course, the comic dubs, I need to get back on that. I think I'm going to try to push for once a week. Here's the thing. I'm not going to try to have a set schedule because look at it where you have one day that you were doing so well, pumping out content. Let's say I made four videos in that day. And then the next day I'm like, okay, let's try to go for it again. Then I get tired out and everything. I'm like, no, no. When you're making content, you should do it because you want to, not because you have to try to feed some algorithm. And yeah, you're, you're going to have to try to um, go for it if you want to push out your content because YouTube hates it when you take breaks. I've probably, I probably lowered my view count by a good significant, but I don't care. I'm going to upload the content that I want to when I want to, but I'm going to try to not be lazy. I'm going to try to at least work on one video per day. I don't have to upload it in that day, but I just want to have like a set time where I'm doing some work and, you know, have a balance between work and life. But yeah, fun facts, they're sticking around. Got to get on that. Comic dubs, definitely want to get started on another one. Um, memes, that's an interesting thing because I don't just want to keep making random memes, but I, if I have something that comes to mind, sure, I'll post it. So I would say that memes might be a part of the future. We'll see. And yeah, there's they're probably predominantly going to be JoJo memes because I still really love JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I could do a whole podcast talking about my love and all of that. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh, music edits, I'm still kind of doing that, but I'm I'm trying to make sure that I actually do enjoy it and I don't just want to try to steal somebody's idea when it comes to music edits. I, t everybody, everybody should create what they want, but I want to make sure that I actually want to do it. Not because I saw somebody else do it and think, oh, this is going to bring in some views. Let's make it on my channel. No, just whatever the imagination hits, you got to let the creativity come to you. And if I ever make something that looks exactly like somebody else's thing, there's a pretty good chance that I just didn't realize that they also made it. It's not like I'm looking for music edits. I kind of just, I really love music. So whenever I just think about it, it kind of just comes to me, you know? But nobody's perfect. Sometimes there's just going to be copycatting and a good amount of time it's unintentional. So I don't want anyone to think I'm stealing other people's ideas. I, I hope I don't run into that, so I'm going to try. Let's see. What else for the future of my channel? Well, obviously the podcast, twice a month. I'm going to talk about whatever topics I have. I am perfectly um, happy to um, have some guests. I might create a Discord server just for talking with the fans or my friends and everything. I've... I want to get into Discord and because it's a pretty good way to make friends and stay in touch with current friends. It's just I don't want to have to feel like I need to go into this server. Even once a day seems like much for me. I just I don't want to have to force myself to be like, hey, get on the server and all that and everything. That's why I haven't made a Minecraft server for the friends. Not only because it also costs money, but also just because I don't want to have to um, feel like it's something I have to do every day, you know? I just kind of want to do something because I want to do it, not because I feel like I need to. But I don't know, maybe just one server because a lot of people have multiple servers. I'm even guilty of doing that and I cleared that out. So one server with the friends, the uh, fans, and just kind of find a nice balance. I mean, they have general roles and everything. I could have a section for my friends and a section for the fans. And if I have friends who are YouTubers as well, then we could just kind of intertwine that. All right. So that's the future of my channel. Um, I'm going to come out with a lot more content. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And speaking of Discord servers and friends and everything, I have been trying to get back into playing games just for the fun of it. I don't... When I was seeing Matt Pat's goodbye video, he was talking about how... 
He doesn't want to just play a game and then constantly have that feeling in the back of his head where he's like, oh, this will be great for the video or maybe I should turn this into a video. Yeah, that's the last thing I want to do. When you, tur when you turn gaming into your channel and everything and you love gaming, it could turn into a job and I do not want that to happen. I still want to play a game just because I like playing it. And right now I've also been trying to play a couple games from the current generation. Like I was playing Lethal Company with my friends. I admit it, I've only played it once with um, them. That game is better suited towards a big group of people, which kind of conflicts with my style because I'm of the mindset of only having a few, few friends you can trust instead of having a bunch of friends that are fake. And that's not an insult to any of them. They were all good people, and I, I do consider them friends. Even some of the ones that I just had met during that session. It was fun. It's just I feel so overwhelmed, and I feel like if I talk, I'm going to say something stupid, and I don't want to be dead weight, you know? We just want to have fun. And then, um, so that's why I, if I'm playing with friends, we usually try to do about it once a week. At least that's what my goal is, and I also have other friends that I'm trying to... Um, stay connected with you know i don't want to be the guy that complains about never hanging out with people but also uh never getting to hang out with people but is also the same guy that doesn't make any effort to not hang out and of course the biggest problem is the schedules and everything my friend shorty dub check out his channel he makes good content um he works he works long hours and he usually plays around late at night, which kind of is a problem for me who's trying to fix my sleeping schedule. So I try to sleep no later than midnight. That way I can at least wake up at 8, 8.30, latest 9 o'clock. Um, but I'm sure we can try to find some common ground. He's a good friend. He's been one of the oldest friends I've had. Our other friend, Melon, he's a good guy too. I've, I haven't done too much effort to kind of get closer to him because um, I just... I have this mindset of like even just calling a friend and if they're like busy or they didn't pick up then I instantly feel like oh man did I did I uh bother them I don't want to do that and I I'm sure that they probably don't have anything uh, they don't they're not annoyed or anything but I always feel like oh, I gotta stop being so de self-deprecating on myself you know you gotta put an effort to hang out with people even if it doesn't feel like you want to do it you know I do want to do it I'm just always nervous and everything. I'm an introvert. I'm shy. That's why I'm always of the the. I always want them to be the one that that um, calls or texts me, which isn't fair, you know. A friendship, a relationship, it's a two way. It takes two to tango. You got to put in the effort that they are also putting. So that's why I've been trying to communicate a lot more. But obviously, everyone's always got their own schedules and everything, so they're not always going to be able to reply. I have more time available than they do that is a fact because they probably have other commitments and other actual jobs so you know it's all right just try to put in the same amount of effort they do and i'm sure we can find some way to hang out and do that they have been really enjoying lethal company from what i've seen because i've always seen him going on there and that's cool that's cool but um Maybe I'll try to join in on one of those games, or we could try to find another game, a smaller game. Like we were talking about how we wanted to play Left 4 Dead 2. That's a small, simple game because there's four of us, and it is a fun game. I mean, I don't, I don't think I need to talk about Left 4 Dead 2 because it's Left 4 Dead 2. Everybody likes that game. I've never seen anyone who said it was garbage or shit, and anyone who has, fuck you. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. They're... Oh, I really have been getting back into playing GTA Online. Here's the thing. I was trying not to obsess over one game, and then I ended up moving to another game. Like, I was obsessing over this mode in Left 4 Dead 2 from the Steam servers called Loot for Dead, where you basically play the versus mode, but everybody's the zombies because you can turn into any zombie you want, and there's like 20 um, AI-controlled survivors, and the whole point is to kill them... Um, and get as much points so you can turn into any creature you want, especially the tank. That's the most popular one. And I was playing that like every day that it was actually starting to become a problem. So I said, fuck it. I'm going to take a break and play something different. So I went to go do a second playthrough of Fallout 4. I love that game. And then I ended up getting obsessed with that one. And now I went to um, GTA Online. So, but I think I'm actually getting better at not playing too many games too religiously and just 
letting myself play when I feel like it, but not making it feel like I have to, or the feeling of, I need it, I need it, like a drug addict waiting for their next hit. I actually have been doing well with, a, I guess, third time is the charm, in this case at GT Online. I've been slowly growing my character because it's a PC character, and I started at like level 40, I believe, because I created this account when I first got my PC, but I didn't feel any effort in doing it, especially since GT Online is very much grindy. But it's been a lot better because they Rockstar finally stopped forcing you to be in public sessions. And I know, I know what you're going to say. Bro, it's an online game. You're supposed to play with other people. I know. But that's just not how I like it when it comes to this game. And if I have the option where I can do most of the things myself, then I'm going to play how I want. Just like how a person who plays on easy mode or a person who really wants to learn the story, but the difficulties are too hard, so they're always focusing on one thing. I say, play the game how you want. As long as you're actually playing the game and having a fun time, who gives a shit? Play on easy mode. Play by yourself. Just have a good time. When it comes to Lethal Company, though, I will try to give some effort with the team, because can you even play that game by yourself? I have no clue. But um, it is a fun game, even though I don't fully understand it. I think the whole point is to fill up your quota and everything. So it's pretty much the same thing for four days. It's, it's, it's kind of like Among Us, where every match you're just finding who the imposter is. It's a simple game. Very, um, a game that doesn't require a lot to run. I'm pretty sure anybody could play it. So I, I respect that. And Game of the Year, that's impressive too. But yeah, I've been getting into GTA Online a lot. And it's been a lot of fun. Been slowly growing my uh, money and deal and buying the dlcs one by one but i'm only buying the ones that i actually care enough like uh the freaking uh maze bank oh, fuck. What, what was that what was that one called with the demolition and the monster trucks the shit that looks like from twisted metal yeah that one is useless for one i don't like racing and rockstar games in general i'm just not a fan of racing games in general especially not in rockstar because uh, rockstar just Blech. And yeah, you could say, oh, it's more realistic. There's no slipstream like in Mario Kart. And I'm like, yeah, it is. And that's one thing I don't care for. There's always a fine line between realism. Although car racing is kind of a horrible um, example to showcase when it comes to too much realism in games. I always go for like Red Dead Redemption 2, like taking care of your guns, walking in areas it just the bandana just no that was way too much realism <laughs> but yeah i'm slowly getting back into gaming and i'm very much enjoying that i'm also trying to put more into an effort of playing games from the current generation like i just picked up mario versus donkey kong and me and my sister were playing the first three worlds well two worlds and then the first level of the third one and i'm like bro we're almost near the end i'm kind of a little bit worried and this game was $50, and yes, it is a remake of the Game Boy Advance game, but I'm a little bit worried. Nintendo's Nintendo has always been shitty when it comes to their pricing. They always re-release the Wii U games and then justify the $60 tag by adding in all the DLC, which I'm just like, God, fuck you. And they never change their prices. I don't I think they only ever lower their prices. And it's always for very few select games, and it's always only digital. That's, Jesus, Nintendo is always going to be Nintendo, just, ugh. But I'll still play the games because I do enjoy the game. Sometimes you got to separate the work from the, from the, the product from the creator. But it's been pretty fun, the game. The only downside is that it's, some of these levels really were not built for two players, you know? And it's kind of weird. The game is a bit stiff sometimes. I mean, come on. You built this game up from the ground up and you couldn't have gotten rid of it. I'm pretty sure the original game wasn't even that stiff. And yes, it didn't have two-player, but eh, maybe maybe it'll get better. I don't know. It's still a very fun game. I love puzzle games. All right. Let's see. Is there anything else I wanted to talk about? No, there really isn't much else. I did have this one little topic, but it was kind of a this and that. Finding things to watch. Um... If you guys have any ideas of things to watch, whether it's anime, movies, cartoons, or anything, please let me know because I'm kind of just trying to 
I don't want to stress over a lot of things that I need to watch. I'm one of those people that has too many videos that I'm like, oh, I'm going to watch this, then I'm going to watch that, then I'm going to that. And I've developed this horrible habit where I always keep them in my history of my YouTube. And then I'm like, all right, I need to watch this. I need to watch that. And I, I just don't want to do that anymore. I think that's, I got rid of my FOMO when it came to like new stuff, new events and everything. But when it comes to like YouTube videos, I'm always like, oh, I got to do this. I got to do that. No, I don't. So I, I squashed that thing. And now I'm just watching whatever I want to watch. Most of the time, it's just subscriptions in my YouTube. And I don't even really have that many channels that upload way too frequently. So I always got a good handful of videos that I can choose from whenever I feel like it. But then here's the other problem. When I finally clear it all out, then I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I feel bored. I feel soulless. It's like I use that I use that bad habit as a way to justify my boredom. Like I was like, now I need those videos because at least then I had something on my mind. No, you keep yourself entertained any way you can. So I've been trying to like just take it nice and easy, watch one thing at a time. I'm going to start watching The Apothecary Diaries. It seems like a pretty cool anime, and the story is kind of unique. Like, I've been watching clips about it, and I'm like, dang, this this is actually pretty interesting. If anyone's seen The Apothecary Diaries, tell me, what it, tell me if you enjoyed it or not. But, uh, yeah, just going to try to watch whatever I want um, at my own pace. Don't feel like... No, you don't have to watch this. You're watching it because you want to. Same way with my content. All right. So my original plan was for this uh, podcast to be about in a 45 minute to an hour um, radius, but it's fine. It's been about 32 minutes. Who cares? It was the first podcast, and I'm actually kind of happy with how it turned out. Just... And I, I think it's best to do it every two weeks because it gives enough time for you to uh, think about new things. And I'm going to have a handful of other things that I'm going to talk about next time. But um, just let it come to my mind. I'm very thankful for all of you guys that have stuck around, especially during the bad times. Because this whole beginning of the year was kind of rocky. Like the first few two weeks of the, of the year, I was like, all right, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. But then with all the changes and all the YouTubers leaving and then just kind of the mental problems, I was like, what? What, is, what does it matter? My end goal is to... Okay, I'm going to get a little personal because I feel like it's nice to talk with people and let yourself be vulnerable, especially the people that actually sit down and watch and listen to my podcast. If you are, then thank you. And, um, before any, and, and because I don't want to make anyone feel lesser. No, you're not. Um, if you're not watching my podcast, I don't think any less of you. You can watch whatever you want, subscribe to what you want, like what you want to like. But yeah, right now my goal is about, I got about $2,500 worth of credit card debt. That's right now my goal to get rid of, going at it slowly but surely. Although a thousand of that was from my mom because I was helping her out with some payments and everything. And, you know, surprisingly my credit score hasn't even really gone bad. It's only about 730, which, um... From what I've heard, is actually still better than most Americans. Like I said, my situation has um, has came with some pretty good pros and some pretty bad cons. But yeah, that's my goal to get rid of that, the twenty five hundred debt, and then just keep building my channel from how I go about it. My most of my content will mainly be in short format, you know, YouTube Shorts, but I might have the occasional bit of videos that are regular videos. It doesn't help that my um, my, uh, internet is terrible. Even uploading a 10 minute video would take like maybe four or five hours and there's nothing I can do about it. I live in a rural, rural isk area with bad Wi-Fi. I think Cox internet is starting to be available in here, but even then it's, it's, it's hard to tell. The irony is that there was actually a good amount of people that worked at Cox that lived in this area. And I'm like, isn't that funny that people who work at Cox live in areas that don't offer it? Like, what the hell? <laughs> I don't know. It, it just seemed funny to me. But yeah, so that's my goal. Of course, building my channel, going at it one day at a time, letting everything just kind of grow naturally. If you enjoy my content, right now my content is uploaded on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. 
So please support those. I think on Instagram, I'm uh, pretty, I'm close to getting to 10,000 followers, which will allow me to become monetized on Instagram. I really would appreciate that. On TikTok, I have about 22,000 followers. It's kind of been growing very slowly um, recently, like maybe three, five followers every day, which I ain't complaining about. It's better than nothing. There was about a two month period where I was just getting nothing. So, yeah. And YouTube, of course, this is where I want to build myself. TikTok is where I get most of my online money. So, if you had to only choose one, I really would appreciate the TikTok. But if you enjoy my content, watch it wherever you want. I just want to keep growing, but I, I still want to put passion into my content. It's just that it helps a lot more if I'm getting a bit of money. Remember, all I said was that I wanted to make enough money to pay my bills and just live normal. I don't need to be rich. I just want to live off of my work. That is my dream. Everybody, for an, to truly live, you should pursue a career that fits your true personality. So follow whatever dream it is, even if it sounds stupid. Who gives a shit? I'd rather spend the rest of my life chasing my dream than live working at a job that I know I hate, that's soul-sucking and just doesn't make me fulfilled. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to get all philosophical. Although I don't deny that I do enjoy talking about that kind of stuff. <laughs> anyway, I think that's where we're going to wrap up the podcast. We're almost reaching that 40-minute mark, so I guess I did kind of achieve that goal that I had wanted to. But yeah, if you enjoyed um, the podcast, be sure to like and subscribe. It's free. Follow me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. I hope you guys really um, enjoyed the first episode of Peter's Moment of Peace. We'll be making, I'll be making more podcasts, obviously. It'll become bi, bi-monthly. I hope I'm using that word right because sometimes uh, it can vary. The English dictionary is uh, confusing. I'll make sure to put these podcasts in clips into shorts format. That way you guys can see of a certain topic because I found that people do enjoy that. But yeah. Well, that's uh, it for the first episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. I love you all. Peace out.